I wonder what awaits us next. Won't be easy. We've lost an ally and a friend, and the nightmare is all around. We won't be going this way. This country needs better bridges, or it will come to nothing. These will be the Harrows. An imaginative name. There's a ring to it. Over there, a dock. An underground landing. Interesting. <laughs> Wasn't I always? I wonder what was landed here all that time ago. Something illicit, no doubt. <laughs> Red, come and look. Do you know this sign? Company of 100 Associates. I, I believe it was a new French trading company before you and I were born. The cave has been abandoned for a while, then. Ah, uh, it was probably a French smuggler's den. Startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, have you? Stop that spectre before it possesses the corpse. They never learn, do they?
Ceridian's island is a pleasant place no longer. Ah, folk will miss her without ever knowing she was here. After what happened at the fort, I wonder what awaits us in the Harrows. No matter the bridge, we can cross it. Don't get cocky. Oh, I'm not. I'll be relying on you. You can't rely on me forever. The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? I don't feel it, not really, but I know it's there. If I focus, I can still see the beauty of the world. I'd be tempted to think the warmer air means a warmer welcome. I suspect I'll be wrong. Trust that instinct, young apprentice, for it will serve you. You're within gun range, Fred. Try this on for size. Red, suddenly I can't manifest. That's not good. Something magic hinders me. I'm still hindered. There must be another ward nearby. Better. Thank you. These wards look fairly new. A hasco, more likely. Let's be careful. What now? I can't help you from here. I'll deal with it.
Take care. The place is warded. I'm with you once more. Off we go then. What in the... there's a ship here. Incredible. Beautiful too. Red, I can't manifest anymore. Call on me. Something has me. Wards. Whatever grip it is the nightmare has here, you'd never know by looking. Bridges up. Wonder why. To keep folk in or to keep something out. Is it just me or I felt it too. The village is full of ghost wards. They're afraid of something. Leave them up. Cause no trouble. Oh there! Anyone home? Where did they go?
Fairfax Haskell. Though it bring demons down in great wrath upon my soul, do pray for those tongues and hearts fixed fair on the fires of hell, that from their foggy fury they be free. Friends, find fortitude in our success. Exiled from our homes by the devil's machinations, we congregate before the Lord in this new meeting house. We gather, we worship, we overcome. And we shall be well protected by the holy ward my son now makes under my instruction. For I have spent hours countless in your service, poring through books and papers, devouring the oeuvre of my peers, that our meeting house be safe. Fairfax Haskell, for whom the word pompous was invented. Half built? Yes. Open to the four winds? Yes. But already it is resplendent with our faith. A shining reminder of our renewed belief in better days. McCraith, Mr. McCraith. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you. What happy portent, what most excellent news. What blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds, O oh, fate, I say. Dead, sir, I thought you dead. Maybe I am. Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the Devil's Legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Thank you, Lammy. Behold this miracle of ours, Mr. McCraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? I'd rather not talk about it. Blessed is the man in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful, but you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. And there comes a time when you must let go and walk on alone. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil, heartened and emboldened, goes from strength to strength. He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. In times of disease, you need doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch? You must find her, or him. 
as it may be. You and I share great expertise. But I'm a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go, meet my people. Walk amongst them. Learn which of them secretly serves the demon, that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politic. What makes you think there is a witch at work here? Aye, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, your man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened, but this witch shall see her downfall. Or his, of course. As did the last one, as will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. You listened to Pennington's accusation. You've heard some of the story, I gather. Saul was first to speak, but he was not the only one to bear witness. When Deborah showed her true nature, I was proud to pass judgment upon her. She earned her punishment. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But you cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Another witch hunt. If there even is a witch, Deborah was innocent. Glad you're here too. Ghost Ward. I think you can safely knock it over. I'm back. At long last. You're the governor's son, right? I... Uh, yes, sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Or oh, they would, if I had any. 
please, call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. So many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honoured. Those ghost wards are quite unique. They are, aren't they? Conceived by Etienne Roulet, but made by my father. Do you use them as well in your line of work? Not really. I mostly talk to ghosts. I don't repel them. Of course. Still, each tool has its purpose, and these troubled times we need all the tools we can get. Magic is glorious when wielded by the righteous. You seem to know a lot about it. Uh, oh, if only, sir, if only. I'm still learning. Many of the subtleties and nuances escape me yet. Your father believes there is a Harrow's Witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. Good day to you, Lammy. Good day to you, sir. Famed and famous banisher, the one and only Red McWraith. Have we met? I was at the meeting house. You've got guts. I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, politeness gives me the shit. I'm Phoebe Walcott. I buy and sell. Now then, what's your pleasure? So, have you noticed any strange behaviour of late? Apart from my own? Yes. So much so that now I am almost normal. Caleb Watson, for example. Now he, my friend, is really strange. Is he now? He used to be such a nice man. Now he's aggressive and he smells like the Christmas cat at Easter. Sounds charming. Thank you. Till we meet again. You mind your good self, do you hear? Give us this day our daily bread. Our bread, not our ale. Our bread! Do you want us to starve? I should have the yeast. You know it, Mistress Barrow. You know it full well. If you want yeast, then grow your own. Just stick some in a jar and grow it, and you'll have it forever. Now there is none, and it's my fault. Food is a staple, a drink is a luxury. Give me the yeast. How many different ways do you need to hear it? Of yeast, there is no more. There is yeast, no more. Yeast, no, no more. There's no more shitting yeast. You're lying. You're pricking now, Mr. Cottle, and I am vexed. Go home. Go back to your work. Go to hell for all I care. Just go away. Good day, sir. Good day, uh, madam. Mistress, Lucy Barrow, the alewife. Red McGraith, the banisher. Alewife, is it? I'd never have guessed from looking at you. And what does an alewife look like, Mr. Banisher? She's got you there. Can I ask, have you noticed anything strange lately? If you have, be sure to tell me. I'll be sure to tell you if I see anything normal. Strange is the flavour of the hour, the week, the month and the year. Yet folks still gossip. They're suspicious, aggressive, impatient. Perhaps they hanker for normality. 
I suppose it figures. Well, if you hear anything that strikes you as unusual, do let me know. I'll take my leave of you for now. Have a good day, sir. How are you, Mr. Bachelor? I do not need the services of a heretic today. And nor do the people of New Eden. He seems pleasant. Seen anything strange of late? Do you speak of the disease eating at the fabric of our fair community? We've sealed the well, closed homes and houses, and said our prayers. It has not worked. Apart from that, have you noticed anyone behaving strangely? I have to ask. I have seen the alewife, Mistress Barrow, lurking by the well, hands in her pockets, clutching at her herbals. And as I think of it, before his house burned down with his wife and brother in it, Caleb Watson and the alewife had a sharp exchange of words. Twere as if she'd cursed him. If there is a Harrow's witch, I'd start looking there. If I wanted a word with her, where would I find her? She tends to the alehouse, brewing God knows what witchery and mischief in her cauldron. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. Caleb Watson. We keep hearing that name. Let's pay him a visit. It smells like death all of a sudden. It's justice. Start anew. Shite on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, oh, now. Out with you. Leave. Leave. I can tell from your sorry demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. Say for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. I'll be leaving you alone for now. A man content with his own company is never alone. <laughs> you hear that? Good one, right? Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. They both will. Being courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. Personal experience. Don't go there. This is wrong. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone, it's bone. Lovely. Ruth and Alexander Watson, the cobbler's wife and brother. He's surely haunted, but where's the ghost? I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. This is wrong. 
It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. You done enough sniffing, hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You'll not take him head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's burned debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you, too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre, and I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre, and good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried... I buried all... Quiet, you. And you can shite off. Taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Talking to Caleb felt like talking to a group. I think in possession. Possession is plausible, but the clues are confusing. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. God's Acre? God's Acre. Here we are. 